Thank you for coming tonight to share with us in our celebration. My name is Liam. This year in geography, my class and I took part in a Google mapping project called Walk With Us. The Walk With Us project was a great experience and we, we, can, we, we can't wait to share it with you and all of Canada. It was a lot of fun working with this project with Mark and Melissa. We were so lucky to be able to use all this awesome technology to do this project. So without further ado, here are some pictures and videos of the Walk With Us project. There we go, good job. Is he just flying around? 
Yeah, it's just basically fun. And why is that? The kids will know. Why isn't he dropping down onto the into the streets? Speaking and, and 
and those kinds of things so that when it came time to do more work in the project that we could have some improvements. So that was uh, great. Uh, we also were able to demonstrate for the students uh, some of the basics of uh, video editing. In this particular case, we used uh, the Mac computers, so iMovie. And you'll see in the elder interviews, for example, although we shot them in the room uh, with some green screening behind them, we were able to swap out the backgrounds and do some interesting uh, things from a technology point of view. So we had uh, uh, some really interesting discussions uh, in the class at that point in time. So here Melissa's captured a, a couple of nice photos. You can see the actual elder interviews were done on the screen clock. And that's so that you can swap the background. That's what we call the green screen effect. And on the left you can see we did uh, two types of video recordings to capture everything. So what I appreciated in the questions that were developed, the two main questions uh, asked about um, the importance of the community and uh, each of the people that volunteered to be recorded told a personal story about their experience of being born, raised, and live here in the community, and in one case, somebody uh, joining the community. Um, and then we also took a look into the future. As an elder, what was their perspective on the importance of education and how that will play out in uh, the students' lives as they continue to grow and develop. So, I'm not going to play this now, I don't think, uh, but I'm, what I'm drawing your attention to is of the six interviews, we made a highlights reel, and all of the interviews are available for you to watch at your own leisure on the four Chromebooks that are down here at the front of the room, um, and we'll be available to provide some assistance uh, if you wish. Um, but the sections in the highlights interview um, all zero in on those two questions about your personal experience and what was happening with advice to the, to the youth of the community. So these are the folks that were interviewed. Albert, um, uh, Mr. Charlie Baxter, we had Christine, who's unfortunately not here tonight, I think she's on a school trip. Um, Flory, Miriam, and Stands in Water. And from my perspective as a, uh, a new listener to all of this information, I have to say I was really impressed with the thoughtfulness that people prepared their comments. They were very, very interesting to listen to. And I think now we're back to the screen view camera part of the presentation, so I'll swap spots with Melissa again. Okay, so this was the street view um, aspect of the project. Um, this was kind of our rig. We kind of mounted a 360 camera on top of Mark's car to essentially make it a street view car. Um, it was just like a single like suction cup mount right here. And we kind of raised it up a little bit with extenders because we needed to um, hook it up to a power source because this is very like battery intensive. So it's gonna drain your, your battery power. Um, so this is one of the images that you can find on Street View now. This is JG Grocery, and if you explore this, you can actually swing it around and see your community. All right. So that's that's JG. There's also um, this is here your school, <laughs> your beautiful school. Um, there, I will say this. A Google Maps uh, for Constance Lake First Nation, there were maybe three um, addresses available for when the kids started to, kids, students started to um, wanting to add Street View pictures. Um, we can't yet add the school as an address or location to Google Maps. But I'm working with the Google Maps team to uh, hopefully expedite the process and really get Constance Lake First Nation updated so that you guys will have an updated map. So this is this shows that you can blur things. So this was a conversation that we had with students about privacy on uh, online spaces. 
So we made sure to blur faces as well as license plates for privacy. Okay? And this is another view of the school. And this is just driving into Constance Lake here. So again, you can explore, look all around. This was kind of our mount. You can see. Okay. This is kind of the exciting part. Um, before, before Walk With Us, there were maybe three or four landmarks on Google Maps where you can see like, oh, okay, there's uh, the Maps office, there's DG Grocery, and there's maybe Le Corbe Lumber, and maybe one more. But after, we've made these edits, so there's more. So I made sure to edit, um, instead of just Constance Lake First Nation, now you can see Constance Lake First Nation Band Office because that's the location. So you'll be able to go on Google Maps and see this. Uh, I added the, the Catholic Church, the Outreach Christian Church, Larry Sutherland Recreation Center. Um, that wasn't there before. Uh, the Jane Madden Health Center uh, was in a new spot. Norm's Gas Bar was already there. Um, Canada Post, I think, was already there. But you'll see if you go onto um, your community, there's gonna be a bunch of new places. Um, and these were some pictures that Mark just from street to sky view. This was uh, drone pictures, of just an aerial view of the school and of, uh, of your community. And here's where, you know, I kind of come to a close. I don't want to talk for too much longer because I wanted to actually show you, like if anyone wants to come up, see the camera and actually um, look at a tour through virtual reality goggles, we can do that and I'd love for you to be able to see it because the, this tour was made with pictures that students took, okay? Um, so these are um, some of the people I'd like to thank. Um, special thanks to Ms. Frost, uh, Christine Stevens, Albert Sutherland, Mark Carbone, Wayne Megan, uh, Lizzie Sutherland, and Stephen Peltonen from the Housing Department, um, and the elders, principals, students, and staff at this beautiful school. And these are some resources that I put together. This is um, a kind of a 360 video that we shot really quickly um, with, the, with the camera. And this is on YouTube, I can show you where it is, but you'll, you'll hear like a bunch of wind because we have the audio on. But uh, I don't know if you recognize this road, probably. <laughs> behind you. We're being followed. <laughs> and now we're facing front again. You can also write like messages on top of roofs of cars. That's what some people do as well. <laughs> Next trip. Um, and this is Albert <laughs> with the tour, with the, <laughs> with the goggles, um, with that 360 video and he was pretending he was driving because he felt like he was driving. <laughs> and this is a tour of your school. This is a virtual tour. So last time we were here, we were able to get Tour Creator up and running. So if any students want to use this free software with your Google accounts, feel free. And I can do a video call even if you, like if I can't physically be here, please do. Um, there's different scenes in this one. Um, these are all student shot film. Like these are all um, students here. You can grab it. Hey, there we go. There's a photographer there. And the third scene, I believe, is inside Miss Frost's classroom. So you're going to see all the kids here. And there's points of interest here. Um, you know, you'll see Christine making a map there. Um, this is a 16 tour. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because if you want to experience it in virtual reality, come on up. We'd love to show it to you. Okay? Um, and you know what? I think that is it. So we are still working on updating Google Maps, so stay tuned for that. But if you look now, if you so see, this used to say just Constance Lake First Nation, now it says the band office. I've reported this picture because it shouldn't be 
there. It should be a picture of the band office, so hopefully they change it soon. And if you click on this little guy, this little street view guy, you'll see some, some of them are still uploading, but you'll see little blue um, kind of dots. Let's see if it's on here. And if you see little blue dots here, you can actually go click into your community now and take a walk around. So again, I'm, I'm updating this um, as I go, and I'd like to do a little bit more street view as well. But these are, you know, these are your streets. This is your community. So <laughs> um, feel free to keep checking back um, on Google Maps and uh, see the little blue dots. So just, just so that you know, all you do is you click on this little guy, this little yellow guy. It'll pop up these little blue um, photospheres, they're called. And you can go down into the community. It was a cloudy day. But there you go. And we'll do the video. So thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. And thank you for welcoming me into your <laughs>